the GPT 4.0 and Gemini Pro 1.5. On paper, Gemini 1.5 Pro beats the crap out of GPT 4.0 with its 1 million token context window. GPT 4.0, for reference, has a context window of only 128,000 tokens. This should allow Gemini to process and analyze huge amounts of information, offer detailed insights, and overall have a much bigger memory to draw data from. What's also interesting is that in benchmarks, Gemini and GPT 4 Turbo, that GPT 4.0 is based on, perform almost identically all the time. In some tests, Gemini wins by a few points, in others, GPT, and this makes a lot of sense. In my past tests, previous versions of Gemini and GPT performed similarly in many tasks with only occasional victories of either parties. But we still need to understand that these two AIs are different in their core. Gemini 1.5 Pro uses mixture of experts, MOE architecture, which basically looks like a full-fledged team. Imagine a manager that controls different employees, each proficient in a certain thing. This allows for great accuracy at specific tasks, but can lead to longer processing when tasks are big and require multiple sub-models to work together. GPT-4 Turbo continues to refine its transformer architecture, focusing on scalability and adaptability. This architecture works a bit differently, with one model pretty much doing all the heavy lifting. This allows GPT to be faster and more scalable, sometimes at the expense of accuracy. To access both models, you obviously need a subscription. GPT-4 O is now a default model for all plus subscribers, while Gemini Advanced must be purchased separately. No, we're not getting anything for free. If it takes two hours to cook one ball of ramen, how long will it take to cook 10 balls? A regular person wouldn't have any issues answering this question. There are only two possible answers. And ChatGPT nails this on the first try, given two answers to choose from. It suggests that it would take 20 hours if we cook each ball separately and two hours if we cook them simultaneously. This is the correct answer. What's even more impressive is the processing speed. ChatGPT gave the answer in mere seconds. Super fast. Gemini, in the same exact test, also gave all the correct answers. That's a good start. Where ChatGPT and Gemini are different is in the number of responses. Gemini gives three drafts to choose from, and I really urge you to look through them if you're not satisfied with your initial answer. Sometimes the AI chooses the response not based on its correctness, but simply guesses which one of the generated three is best. The next test is a classical task with a twist. Basically, it's an elevator problem. Pause this video to read the prompt, then try to answer it yourself. Did you manage to do it? Because ChatGPT did. The correct answer is four. ChatGPT nailed this task once again and gave a very clear explanation of how it calculated the result. I must say, this looks like a great way to learn math, but obviously only in cases when ChatGPT gets things right. Gemini also succeeded here and all its three responses are correct. The only difference between them is formatting. And personally, I prefer ChatGPT. It is far more simple and easy to understand. To me, all that doesn't really matter because the true focus of both model updates has been on multimodality. This means they should work better with all sorts of files, images, audio, tables, and so on. So I have this image here with various lines, numbers, and colorful dots, and we're gonna use that to test the vision of the ChatGPT and Gemini. The simplest test I could think of is counting colored dots, the blue ones to be exact. So I will upload the image and ask ChatGPT how many blue dots it sees. And would you look at that. The updated image recognition algorithms fail completely. Somehow ChatGPT managed to count 12 blue dots, even though the image has only six of them. But maybe it just counted as the dots that form the numbers. Maybe it was a mistake. And after the adjustment, the new number is 10, which is still not correct. Where are these 10 blue dots? Where are the four extra ones? Maybe ChatGPT can highlight them for us. And no, it cannot. So even though ChatGPT comes with Dolly as a part of it, it still cannot modify the user's image which is a shame. Gemini, in the same exact test, managed to count nine dots on its first try. One of the drafts had eight dots, which is two dots less than what ChatGPT suggested. And if we ask Gemini to not count the dots that form numbers, it will say that there are four blue dots in the image, which is still not correct, but much closer to the correct answer than ChatGPT. And when I ask Gemini to highlight the blue dots on the image, it just steals someone else's image from the web. It seems like these new algorithms have some problems with plagiarizing. They tend to use someone else's work for
far too often. Of course, this test doesn't mean that AI cannot properly understand what's happening in the images, because if I ask both AIs to describe this image to a blind person, the answers would be actually pretty close to the truth. ChatGPT here is very detailed and gives a ton of descriptions for each element, and the description itself is formatted really well. Easy to understand, though even in this explanation, the number of dots is incorrect. We're gonna let it slide. And Gemini, on the other hand, is a bit less clear in its description. It's kind of all over the place. Definitely not the best result, but definitely not the worst one. Even though Google tries to make it clear that Gemini has impressive and industry-leading image recognition technologies, somehow ChatGPT manages to outperform it. So change of plans, new image. Now it's a table with phone specs. This should be easy. The only trick would be for AI to understand that the specs for each phone are listed vertically and not horizontally. The reason why I'm uploading only one image instead of multiple is the limitation of Gemini. It doesn't support batch uploading of images. ChatGPT, on the other hand, does, but I'm still gonna put the AIs in a similar situation and upload one image. Then I'm gonna ask which phone I should choose. Unsurprisingly, at this point, ChatGPT responds perfectly, suggesting the third phone, which has the best specs, managed to correctly understand the text and all the information in it, and then even compiled it in a separate sections. Gemini fails this test for the stupidest reason ever. It doesn't want to make any sort of decision. <laughs> no matter how I phrase my prompt, it refuses to say which of three phones is really the best one, even though the hints on it are inside the response itself. And just to make things a bit more interesting, I will also ask ChatGPT and Gemini to guess which phones these specs belong to. ChatGPT manages to correctly understand that these are the Samsung phones and even the exact models. Gemini, in all of its drafts, fails every single time. And I find it really strange, given the fact that even a regular person would just Google these specs as is and find the right answer. Even in such simple tests, we already see that ChatGPT is correct much more often. Now, how about we add some logic to it, some memory? There is a basket without a bottom in a box, which is on the ground. I put five peers into the basket and move the basket onto a table. Where are the peers? Again, this is a very simple task that even a child could do, but for AI, it might be more difficult than you think. Because AI has to try and think like a human, imagine where each element is and how they interact with each other, what a bottomless basket looks like and how objects in it would interact. And luckily, both assistants gave the correct answer on the first try. And if I ask a follow-up question where the peers would be if the basket had a bottom, both responses would be correct once again. To you, it all may sound stupid and unnecessary to test, but I've been using AI for so long that I know firsthand how difficult the reason can be for AI. Not all AI models can correctly interpret what we want them to do. And from what I see, the improvements in intelligence of both models are substantial. And just to finish things off, quick question. What is heavier, kilogram of steel, or a pound of apples. None of the AIs have issues here, and even if I try to trick them and call the exact same weight on both of the objects, the responses from both would still be correct. You know, when I did this test, I was expecting AI to fail, mainly because I read somewhere that in someone else's test, AIs failed to answer correctly. Till now, everything seemed to align well with benchmarks, even though Gemini didn't really outperform ChatGPT in anything. So maybe in tests and writing capabilities, we could see some changes. Again, starting live. I will ask AI to generate 15 sentences that end with the word croissant. Sounds simple, right? A smart AI would notice that I didn't ask for unique sentences and just write 15 very similar sentences. But it seems like none of our contenders are smart enough to understand that. If we do the math and count how many sentences are correctly phrased, we will see that ChatGPT did so for only nine sentences and Gemini for eight. What does it say about AIs? Well, nothing, pretty much. Generating a bunch of identical sentences sentences is a common problem for AI, mainly because of the way AI works. AI cannot just use the same seed for each sentence. It generates a random noise pattern for the entire response and then starts connecting the dots. So even though ChatGPT emerged victorious from this test, I wouldn't really count it as a real advantage. With a different variation of the prompt, the situation could possibly be reversed with Gemini winning handsomely. With such tasks, it's pretty much spray and pray. Where results get really really interesting is when I start asking AI to generate a short, sad story. ChatGPT has zero issues and writes something really sad. I would even say 
that it's impressively sad. Gemini, on the other hand, decides to straight up plagiarize Ernest Hemingway. Google, what are you doing? Is this even legal? Because when I ask Gemini about it, it just says that it hasn't been confirmed that this story was written by Hemingway. So technically, Gemini doesn't do anything wrong. But still, this decision to plagiarize something instead of writing a unique piece doesn't paint a pretty picture for Gemini. On top of all this, none of the AIs have acquired any sense of humor, and their fun stories still seem jarring and boring, so don't even attempt to ask ChatGPT or Gemini to generate you a list of jokes for your stand-up tour. But I have one last task that can potentially tip the scales in Gemini's favor, coding. One last chance to redeem yourself, Gemini. I have a screenshot of a very simple game, and I want to get a code for it. Gemini starts well and gives a complete Python code. I'm not a programmer myself, so it's a bit difficult for me to assess whether it's working as it should, but I already see that the instructions given by Gemini require connecting certain libraries for games, and since I don't have Python in my Mac, I will attempt to use the online compiler. And surprise, surprise, it doesn't work without those libraries. I would assume that the code itself is good, so I'll just ask Gemini whether there is a way to play this game from my browser. In response to this, Gemini decided to give me a code for practically a website with HTML and CSS. And obviously I'm not gonna spend my time creating a website based on this code. No matter how I ask for additional or alternative options, Gemini won't budge. I would say in terms of code generation, this is a very good result, but then I remember there is ChatGPT. Initially it does all the same stuff, writes a Python code with exact same libraries that need to be connected. And if I ask for an alternative option, it also suggests creating a website. Finally, we found a complicated task that both AIs perform equally well. But ChatGPT has an ace up its sleeve. Out of the blue, it decided to give me a detailed plan on how and where I can run this generate code in my browser. It suggested the website, explained where I should click, which code to paste, and so on. And if I do all that, look at this. This is working. The colorful blocks are there, the ball is there, the physics is there. The only thing that's not there is the game itself. It's it's not interactive, but maybe this is a problem of this website and not ChatGPT. So at this point, I think it would be safe to say that ChatGPT won this test and all the other tests. Gemini is cool and all, and it definitely has its quirks, but from the regular person's perspective, ChatGPT is better. It works faster, produces better results, it's more reliable, and it's also cheaper. Especially if you take into account that in the same subscription, you also get access to Dolly Image Generator. So yeah, ChatGPT is still king, great for enthusiasts, regular people, and even coders. Thanks for watching, and see you there. Peace.